Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and explain a little bit of how brands work for the newer players or just people in general who don't understand how they work. Um, so basically the easiest way for me to explain how brands work is they are kind of like traps that instead of needing a ton of trigger range and to go off, they kind of attach to their target. And I'm going to just explain the basics of them. So essentially the first thing to note is there's two types of brands. There's Armageddon brand and there's Storm brand. Uh, Storm brand will latch to an enemy and use like a uh, chain lightning spell, sim very similar to Arc. And uh, Armageddon brand will do uh, something kind of different where basically it will cast, let me just have this over here, it will do a fire meteor that rains down from the sky. So the basic essential thing is you can have three brands by default and you can have one brand on a target at a time. If you have the Runebinder node, you can then have two attached to an enemy, which is a very significant uh, damage increase to your single target. However, there is kind of a little way to bypass this because there is this support gem called Brand Recall. Now, one thing to note about Brand Recall is that Brand Recall, where do I have it set here, has a max of level six, uh, can be supported with things like Empower and stuff like that. And as you level it up, it actually gives cooldown recovery to the skill itself. Now, when you use Brand Recall, it will pull your brands to you. So an example, if I were to have my six brands out, this is the max you can have at the time. I can pull them to me. It also will automatically activate the brand's effect. So this makes it very good for single target, specifically for something like Armageddon brand because of the way it works. You can phase, run into a pack, Armageddon brand, and basically just annihilate the pack immediately, move on to the next pack, move on to the next pack. But now this is kind of annoying because you have a cooldown unlike other skills. However, remember that you can still just cast the brand normally and it will go ahead and you know do its own stuff. Um, so from what I've seen, Armageddon brand is more uh, single target focused and the arc one is more kind of AOE focused. That being said, if you were to go ignite, Armageddon brand all of a sudden becomes a monster for both. Whereas um, the lightning one is just solid all around because the lightning one, unlike the fire one, doesn't have this delay time. It's just instant and pops it. So let's go ahead and just do a quick map showcase. So I'm gonna pull on, let's see. I've got control destruction, storm brand, lightning pen, and I'm just gonna use faster casting. I have personally noticed Scaling cast speed for Stormbrand feels very, very, very nice. Now, this is just a simple four link if you just wanna see what I'm doing. Uh, I would show you some higher tier maps, but I don't really wanna mess with my Atlas right now. So it's just a simple tier four crater map. Another odd thing is you, so there's a activation range for the brands and there's duration for the brands as well. Duration is how long they stay out. Um, and remember that when you use your brand recall, it adds the duration of the brand so you can keep it out much longer. But area of effect, I believe, also triggers the um, uh, area of effect, I also believe, is similar to the activate. Where, where is it here? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Attachment range. There we go. I don't know how well attachment range scales compared to AoE. Um, I, I honestly have no clue. I just know that AoE does something for them specifically because they have the AoE tag. Uh, this means I do believe you can use things like conk effect to scale their damage even further, but I do believe it's gonna reduce the attachment range. So let's go ahead and jump into this quick little crater map and I'll show you kind of how it plays. Okay, so that was a martyr pack and I almost died, but that's okay. Cause you know, this is uh, well, <laughs> To me, it feels like it's like a nice mixture of self-casting and like maybe double totems at the same time or traps even. It has a really niche style. Uh, I really enjoy it. So here's going to be the single target. Now again, it's just a four link and it's a, it's a white tier map. It's nothing that crazy. I do use uh, Lightning Spire Trap in conjunction with <clears throat> Stormbrand just because it sets up so well for the single target. Here's an example of the brand recall, basically instantly killing mobs. So let me like, oh, well, that one already jumped in. Boom, and you can see it kind of pops them.
And to give you an example of how the activation range works, you'll see this guy will come in, they zap to him, and then they get him. And then they drop back on the floor, and then they can be reattached again. So let's, let me just show you like one brand, for example, how far it can go. That's just one little guy. Then this pack's going to come about right here. It'll probably bounce to him. And then I can pull that brand over here. And then I can pull that brand over here. And then I can pull it again, etc. So it's it's actually very, very fun. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know. It's, it's just like, it's a lot of fun to play with. I'm not going to lie. Brand recall is also instant cast, which means you don't have to worry about it feeling clunky ever because you don't have to scale cast speed for the brand recall itself. Um, makes for a very nice play style. And the other interesting thing about brands is that I'm going to go ahead and like go all the way over here. Brands, for some reason, unlike traps and totems and mines, do not, well, I guess totems might not, they don't ever like disappear. Like even though they're all the way over there, they haven't expired yet at all. So I can actually pull them to me, and I can literally just keep walking with them for quite a long time. Yeah, totems won't attack. I think brands still attack if they're off screen. I could be wrong. For sure, you can be like one screen away. I don't know if they attack if you're like seven screens away. And then, of course, because of the, the way they work, they leech to you, but you can also die to reflect. But anyway, that's pretty much about it. So uh, I hope you guys try out brands. I promise they're a really fun play style. Um, definitely a lot of ways you can play around with them. You could, for example, go, oh, shit, dude, rip 19. Feels bad, dude. You could definitely play like Elementalist, Ignite, Armageddon brand, or maybe even more single target oriented with just uh, Hierophant. But for sure, give them a try. See if you like them. Anyway, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care and have a wonderful time, everybody.